channel my name is Gabrielle Miller make sure you subscribe down below in today's video I will be doing like my quick everyday makeup routine if I decide to wear makeup that day um, so yeah let's get into the makeup routine okay so my first step is I like to take these little hair clips these are by Harry Josh and I clip my hair back like on each side just so that it doesn't get in my makeup which would be disgusting and I don't like that so we're gonna clip it back real quick First step of my routine. All right, so now that our hair is clipped and ready, my next step will be like moisturizer and sunscreen. So normally I like to mix my moisturizer and my sunscreen together. Um, I really like this Tatcha water cream and this Elsa MD sunscreen. So I mix these two in the palm of my hand and then I'll put it on my face. And then mix them together like this. So I have this little mixture on my hand. I'm gonna supply all over my face. And wearing sunscreen every day on your skin is super important. So we wanna all be looking nice and wrinkly free for as long as we can. Okay, so moisturizer and sunscreen is applied. And now we'll actually move on to the makeup portion of my routine. Recently, I've been using this as like a little skin tint. It's the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It has like a little dropper. I just kind of take it and I just go on my face like this and then I'll blend it in with the beauty blender. So you guys probably don't recognize where I am right now. Um, I'm currently staying in Galveston for this week because we are house sitting my aunt and uncle's beach house down here and their house is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I also am making two other vlogs of just how this week went um, and you guys should definitely check those out. I don't know if they're going to be out. Like I don't know my posting schedule if I'm going to post this before on those later, but if they're out, I'll have them linked in the description. So I'm going to be doing two vlogs on that. But right now I am in my aunt and uncle's bathroom and I love it. It's so gorgeous. I love pretty bathrooms. I'm like obsessed with them. So my goal one day is to have a bathroom like this. That's my goal. Next normally would be concealer, but recently I haven't been liking to use concealer because I just think it's too like heavy on my skin during the summer. But if I were to use concealer, I'd use this Fenty Beauty little matchstick in the shade bamboo and I just kind of use it and like go on my face. But I'm not gonna do that. Next step is powder. And I really like this Hourglass Ambient Powder. Just tap it like this, and then I just kind of put it on the places where I just put the skin tint. Really fun being here in Galveston. It's a nice change of pace, um, kind of, you know, something different to do. The first part of the week when we were here, it was raining super bad, and they even forecasted that we would have a tropical depression. Um, but there has not been any rain yet, like in the past couple days. So I don't know if that's gonna ever come, which I'm fine with that. I think powder is good. And now we'll move on to like bronzer and stuff like that. So I have two bronzers that I like to use. It depends on like the day, which one I choose. So I have this Chanel, Soleil Tan de Chanel. It looks like this, it's huge, but it lasts a really long time. So it looks like this and normally I would take like a brush and just swipe it and then I would kind of put it on my forehead and like my nose and stuff. It's a cream bronzer. But recently I've been using this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. It looks like this. And I take like a little kabuki brush like this and I take a little bit of the sculpting side. And I don't really know how to sculpt or do contour but I just kind of add it in on my forehead like around the perimeter of my face in order to make me look like I got some sun. Like a nice little tan. that like when you get a tan you get kind of like you know darker on your nose right here and so I like to put a little bit of bronzer on my nose and a little bit on my cheekbones and moving on still for a highlight I've been really liking this Marc Jacobs little glow what do you call it? spotlight glow stick it kind of looks like a deodorant in my opinion I don't know but you just take the lid off and it looks like this and I take two fingers and go like this and then I just like to pat it on my cheekbone right here So that's good for highlight. The next step in our routine is blush. I have this little Chanel blush that I really like. It looks like this. 
I opened it upside down. It comes with like a little brush, but uh, I don't really like it. It's hard to apply blush with. Um, this is in the color 72 Rose Initial. And I take this little Fenty Beauty brush, a little bit like this, and then apply it on my cheeks, kind of smile a little bit. And the Chanel Beauty products smell so good. I don't know how to describe it. It's very like fresh and clean. When I move my head throughout the day, I can like smell it on me. So now that I applied the blush on, normally I like to take just an overall big powder brush and rub it on my cheeks just to make sure it's kind of blended because I don't want it to look like I'm a clown. And now we're going to move on to mascara. I use this Giorgio Armani Classico mascara in Eyes to Kill. That's what it says. So like that. Mascara is done and next I will do my eyebrows. So if you can't tell already, I don't really have much of an eyebrow. Um, they're very pale, but wait, they have like a nice shape to them, but like this half is here and this half is like on vacation. So I don't fill them in because one time at Nordstrom at the Chanel beauty counter, the lady was like, oh, do your makeup. She filled in my eyebrows and I looked like a man. Like I looked not good. So I just use like a clear gel and brush them up so they don't move like smush down even though with how light they are you wouldn't even be able to tell but it makes me feel better knowing that they're brushed up so that's what i'm gonna do just brush them up and if you can see right here in the middle of my forehead i have this cute little dent from when i ran into my bed when i was three i was like running into it and i ran into like the bottom of it really hard so if you were wondering what that was that's why that's there now that i've like done my face completely i like to set it using this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I don't know if I'm saying the brand name right, but I just take it and I like spray it. And it smells so good. I've been loving this Laura Mercier lip gloss in Bare Baby. It has like a little bit of a shimmer and it kind of just is my natural lip color, but a little bit more pink. But before I do that, um, my biggest pet peeve is when people leave like concealer or makeup on their lips and then put lipstick on top of it like I can't like that grosses me out so bad so now that my lips are skin tint free that's what I was using today they're a little bit red because I just rubbed them but now we'll apply the lip gloss and that'll be our last step of my little makeup routine there you have it I'm done with my little quick and easy makeup routine um if I were to be going out to dinner or something and I wanted to make it like a little more like night look I would just go back in with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzing palette and I would take the bronzer and put it on my eyelids because I think that looks a little bit more defined and kind of like, you know, a little bit fancy. So let's take out our clips and fix our hair a little bit. And we're done. So yeah, this is how it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and tune in for more vlogs and other fun things. Comment down below if you have any video ideas because I'm always open for new ideas for filming. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video.